Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your family and friends so together we can be encouraged with others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading the book of James, chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. So then, surrender to God. Stand up to the devil and resist him, and he will flee in agony. Move your heart closer and closer to God, and he will come even closer to you. But make sure you cleanse your life, you sinners, and keep your heart pure. Stop doubting. Let us step back for just a second and remember who Jacob is writing to. Jacob is writing his letters to the Christian Jews. These Jews were converts from Judaism to Christianity, who were scattered because of their conversion. So as this, this chapter starts, there was conflicts and quarrels between these believers. Jacob writes to these believers and tells them that the problem that is causing the conflict is their heart. Their heart still looked at things as the world looks at them. These believers were jealous of other believers because of what they had. We are told that if we ask God for something, He will give it as long as it is not a selfish gain. God does not want anything in our life that will come between us and Him. God wants us to come closer to Him, and as we come near to God, God comes to us. The only way we can do that is to humble ourselves, surrender to God. Surrendering means giving control. Give God control of your life. Lord, I just want to pray right now that believers, they give full control to God. As they say that Jesus is their Lord, they let Jesus be Lord that let nothing come between God, our Father, Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. That if is there anything that is in our hearts, we cleanse it from our hearts. And we do not look on things of this world just because somebody else has it does not mean we need it in our life. And as we make ourselves pure, make our hearts pure, we can resist the devil who will use the things of this world to in our lives that will put a barrier, barrier between us and God. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you the opportunity today, if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died on the cross for your sins, and rose from the grave, proving that he, he is the Son of God. You can confess your sins against God and ask for forgiveness, and He will save you, and He will enter into you. Just repeat, repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. 
I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins, and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now that you've prayed that prayer, I want to encourage you not to stop at just making him, making Jesus your Savior, but to make Him Lord of your life. Learn to pray to the Father through Jesus. Learn to listen for Him to speak to you and read the Word of God, the Bible. That in the Word of God, we learn to live the life that we are supposed to live that is pure, holy, and sinless.